Question number 6A, NovDeck 2020. A salesman receives a basic salary of 3,220. So we are being given that the basic salary, this is given as 3,220 cities. He also get 3 over 4% commission on sales out of his total income. Now, commission on sales. And in Fuso, so out of his total income, he pays 1 over 2% as union dues and then 5 over 1 over 2% as income tax. What was his net income for a month in which his sales amounted to that is 150? thousand nine hundred and fifty cities so um, he sales total sales total sales is that is um, four fifty we have nine fifty so this is his total um, sales now what is the commission that he gets he also gets 3 over 4% commission on sales. So, commission, that is 3 over 4%. Now, so, okay, 3 over 4% of total sales. Now, the percentage sign is just 1 over 100. So it's just 3 over 4 times 1 over 100. The percentage sign is just 1 over 100 times the total sales, which is 450950. Now, when we work this out on the calculator, we'll be getting that is 3382.125. And because it is currency to two decimal places, so clearly, we have 3382.13 because this has to change the two to three, two decimal places. So this is his commission. Now, so the basic salary is this, the commission is that, hence total income, total income. The total income, that will be 3,220 plus 33. 82.13 and when we work out this this is just 6602.13 that is 6602 now so this is the total income now we are also told that he pays 1 over 2 percent as union dues so out of this, this is the total income. So the union dues, union dues, that is one over two percent of um, total income. So we are one over two. Now percentage, that is one over hundred. Now office multiplication, what is the total income? That is six six zero two point one three. And this is giving us, that is 33.01 cities. Now, we also been told that in 501 over 2 as income tax. So income tax, income tax, that will be 501 over 2 percent of the total income and this five times two ten plus one eleven so we have eleven over two percentage that is one over hundred of oh, that's multiplication total income what's the total income six six zero two point one three now when we work out this we are getting that is three six three point one two we shouldn't forget our units. Now, the question says that,
what was his net income for a month in which he sold? So our net income, that is the gross, the whole thing minus our deductions. So net income, the net income becomes, that is what is the total amount, total income, that is 6, 602.13, minus the deduction, that is the union dues, which is 3, 3.01, Minus the income tax, which is 363.12. And when we work out this, this is just 6206.00. This is the net income. Very, very trivial. Please make sure that you subscribe. Also, share the videos to friends. We shouldn't forget the sign of the percentage is 1 over 100. Now let's consider this question. That is um, Novec 2020, question number 6b. Rashida invested X Ghana CDs in a fixed deposit with an annual interest of 9% um, and 2X in a mutual fund with an annual interest of 10%. If the total interest from the two investments at the end of the year is 2320 how much was invested at each rate so um, for the fixed deposit for the fixed deposit what is our principal or should I invest it so our principal is that is X Ghana cities in effect with an annual interest so our interest is that is what the interest rate is what nine percent, and then we also been given that two x in a mutual fund. So here our time is um, one. Now the mutual fund. Now the mutual fund, the principal. Our principal is giving us that is 2x. 2x. So that's 2x, and then our rate, our rate is 10%. The time 2 is the same time, which is 1. Yeah. Now, interest. Is giving us that the principal times three times time all over hundred. Now we are being given the total interest for the fixed deposit and then the mutual fund. So the interest for the fixed deposit plus the interest of the mutual fund. This is equal to that's two three two zero. Now the interest for the mutual fund you know sp uh for the um fixed deposit that is so our uh, piece x times r nine times time one all over hundred and then for the mutual fund we have two x times ten percent times one all over hundred you go to two three two zero so this is giving us that is nine x all over 100 plus we have 20x all over 100 equal to 2320. Now the LCM are the same, so you add a numerator 9x plus 20x that is 29x all over 100 equal to 2320. What's the LCM? LCM is 100, you know, this is over 1. So you can cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, we get 29x. Now these zeros will come and add to these zeros. So we have 2, 3, 2, 0, 0. We want to find x. We divide both sides by 29. Hence our x is 2, 3, 2, 0, 0. All over. Now we have 1, 0. Adding 2 zeros to it. So that will be 3 zeros. So we have that. All over um, 20. Nine. So you have our x to be 8,000, x to be equal to 8,000, hence 
the question is asking um, how much was invested at each um, rate hence the, the fixed deposit so for our fixed deposit Uh, the amount invested is 8,000. We shouldn't forget 0 0.000. And uh, the mutual fund, the mutual fund, the amount invested is 2x. 2x. So 2 times 8,000, which is 16,000. So for fixed. The post that is eight thousand, and then our mutual fund is sixteen thousand. That is very, very trivial. We should forget um, interest is equal to principal times three times time all over hundred. And then we have the mutual fund, and then the fixed deposit. So I F plus the I M. We are given the total. We equate it simple equation, and then we solve for the value of X. Don't forget to subscribe. Send the videos also to your friends.